Like it's a 72 minute cycle apparently. Uh, but the problem is, is you can't change it. So if it's nighttime and you want it to be day, you have to literally wait, I think. I'll just do one more reset after this and then uh, I'll just go with my other route. Okay, we're gonna just we're just gonna do the scyther route for now. Uh, this scyther route catch is actually much better at nighttime as well, so. So this is much more running around to get stuff than the other route that I was doing. But the Pokemon I end up with is a little bit better. I should check out and see how good Altaria is for this. I think it needs a little bit more help than I currently get. That's a Mercury. Okay, so there are some very nice little, I can get them Dusk Balls here. Whoa, don't want that. Don't need the Kelp Sea Berry though. Whoops, I jumped a little bit too far down, okay. Beautiful. All right, easy, easy pickings. That is as good as you want for that. Come on. What? 
Oh, I need to do the uh, adamant as well. East. Bit sloppy, but uh, not the end of the world. speed. Okay, I'm just going to divert for this because it's, it's going to guarantee a catch for my next mon. Adamant. I probably didn't need the Dust Ball, I still have a Dust Ball. That was kind of silly, but if... Okay, well, I guess I can use the Dust Ball now. Should have maybe tried for the Backstrike there. That was a very unlucky cat. Um, but I think the Dust Ball has a higher, higher chance to catch there anyway. to move, good. And this cloth is slow. Okay, this Scyther is really, really good. All its IVs are at least 24. <laughs> Good enough. So I don't need the guard spec, extra guard spec. I think I'm gonna grab it anyway though, just because.
Alright, Shelter, I need you to be a pal. Use Leer. Unlucky. At least I didn't use Rock Tomb. Okay, so this looks like a worse time than my earlier runs, but I have both. I have my entire team already, so I don't need to do anything else other than pick up items. Scyther also has Technician, but that's not super relevant for the run because I will not be using any moves that are lower than 60 base power. <laughs> I technically technically will be using a move that is 55 base power when you're holding an item. But I'm going to be not holding an item, so it's going to be doubled. So in some very niche areas, Swarm is actually a better ability. But in general, it doesn't matter. And then... I don't think I need to worry about Terra. Yeah, Terra doesn't matter, although having Terra flying is better than Terra bug. If you need to get, if you're in a pinch. But terrestrializing is generally really slow, so avoid that. But yeah, this Scyther is really, really good. It has obviously an Adamant Nature, because I got the Adamant Mint. It's got 27 to 31 HP, 25 to 29 attack, 24 to 28 in defense, special attack, and special defense. And uh, 29 to 31 in speed. <laughs> so, it's a bit of a monster. Can't really ask for much better. I think having perfect attack has a small benefit. later on. For Murkrow. Land it. Okay. Had to do a go around, but I ended up getting it. <laughs> Pilot wasn't confident in landing. Good grab there.
Oh, <laughs> uh, what's the camera doing? No, dude. That hitbox is obnoxiously large. It's like six times larger than the Pokemon. Okay, so I do not need Levenesia candy at all now. Thank you, Pokopath candy. Hello? Yeah, so luckily because Scyther is so fast, um, the hasty mid isn't even necessary to even consider, even if you have zero speed. Because it has, yeah, it has 110 base speed. Is it on 10 or is it 105? Either way, it's a lot. <laughs> Significantly more than uh, like Oricorio or Flamigo. Which makes the Adamant Mint a very good option. And the Adamant Mint also allows me to get less candies. Uh, which overall saves time. I did time and compare doing level 60, which is what you can do with Hasty. With Neutral Attack, specifically. And it is actually just faster to get the Adamant Mint. Okay, I'm gonna get this medium. It's kind of out of the way, but not too bad. Didn't get stuck. Do 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 do. All right, my favorite part of the run is this area. Please don't be anything up here. Okay, there are goats, but they're not in the way. Just the important thing. item. Okay, a 
That was a bit awkward, but didn't get an encounter, so that's the important thing. Do not need that. Although that is a really good item to grab for uh, Oracorio. So I'll remember that for next time, so I don't have to buy an X accuracy. Okay, we we'll, won't bother with that poke at all. Do 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 Um, I disagree. It is possible to do that with two BLJs. Oh, almost went off the edge. That would have been silly time loss. Banana dinosaurs allowed. Way too many bangers on this soundtrack. It's gotta be careful here, because there's lots of random Pokemon that are just gonna be sitting in the snow. I really, really hope that the Oricorio route isn't faster than the Scyther route. Because if it is, then it would kind of have to suck having to wait until it's daytime.
keeping an eye out for any ghost doggos. Um, buh, 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 buh. Why are you there? Please go away. Ah, uh, that's dumb. I jumped. Thanks, thanks, Eaton input. Well, that's like 20 seconds down the drain. Come on! How long does it take to load coming out of the water? Not very long. I jumped! This is rigged. Nope, no, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. Definitely need to work on figuring out what the best spot is there. like ghosts. I don't like you either. What? Pretty good candy grabs there. Can't complain. Oh my god, where am I going? I just went super wide for no reason. Okay, probably a minute behind where I want to be. I should just realize for this route I should be just using Lechonk, not uh, catching something.
Oh, it's raining. Notice how these text boxes are clearing so much slower now. And that scene faded out so slow. Hopefully it stops promptly. Uh, and then, uh, oh, let me go to, wait, hold on, shit, shit, shit. I forgot to check my stats. I'll have to check the VOD. I'm also a higher level than I should be because I was supposed to take out a candy from my route and I didn't. <laughs> and I know which one I was supposed to take out. It was the one in the one of the ones in the mine. So I need to remember to do that next time. That fight went way longer than it should have. Thanks, thanks, lag. Appreciate it. That phalanx, I'm telling you, it knows I'm going to be there every time.
seem to always have both my mons second is dead by the time I get to that vending machine. I trust you two can handle that. Already? Wow, this is sad. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure for Oricorio, Passimian comes out second, and then I don't- I'm assuming it's Annihilate third. In which case you need to sit up on the... ...on the Toxicroak, which is really bad. I should see, I should check if I can two-shot the Sturmobile with, without setting up, and whether I can one-shot the Lucario at plus zero. Pretty sure you can't do both. Let's see if I'm faster, good. So yeah, I if I didn't hit encounters and get the extra candy and have really bad menus, I could definitely be saving with more time here. Yeah, so unfortunately Scyther cannot to hit the Starmobile without a sword stance set up.
Even at level 60, it can't consistently. Okay, Tauros.
The space is pretty good. It's pretty quick. Yeah, I'm gonna try something a bit different on this fight. Normally, I <clears throat> normally I set up on the Torkoal, but it has a chance to burn with Flame Wheel, so I'm just gonna KO it right away, and then two shot the Sturmobile, and I think the Sturmobile could be a range as well. Let's actually check. Two twelve fifty nine. Yeah, it's a 9 and 16. Because I don't believe the Starmobile can burn, so... Nice, got the range. Well, that's a nice time save. I mean, I'm thinking it might be interesting to, if you have Technician... Oh, actually, no, no, never mind. I was trying to think of Scyther to move that is stronger than Acrobatics. I don't think you can. Because I could technically just use X Speeds instead of Agility.
do do do. Let a casker off uh... Do 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 I really hate this base. It's way too spread out. That was not bad. Definitely satisfactory. Do, 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 do. 
So this fight, I could acrobatics both, but I'm risking a range on the Sturmobile, so I'm gonna just uh, X-Scissor both. It's probably not that much slower, because X-Scissor is a faster animation, but it's super effective on the Sturmobile. I like getting a random 10 second black screen. Actually, Acro is not very effective on the Ponyard anyway, so X's are, is just better overall. I should just change that. second gold. Yeah, so that was just that was a really good base. Like all that time save was just having a fast base. Coming up is the worst base. <laughs> the fighting base is close contender for the worst base. But it's slightly better because you have at least a type advantage on the boss, whereas the fairy base has high level mons, don't have a type advantage, and it's leggy as hell. <laughs> So that the fairy base is what I'm most concerned about with Oricorio because Ortega leads an Azumarill with pure power or huge power and it has Aqua Tail which can one shot Oricorio from full <laughs> which is really really bad. It looked like it lagged. It looked like it it uh, it bugged out there. I'm surprised I didn't slide there at all.
I'm wondering whether it's better to just jump off Maridon entering a cutscene like that rather than just blaze into it. Should probably watch some uh, other runs, see what the other people do. Because this Morgan must torment, so I want to not use acrobatics on it. Luckily, X scissor kills. So it didn't go for. I'm not sure if it has torment or. Specifically, um, Prankster. I don't know if that's a consistent thing. Because I sometimes see him torment, I sometimes see him nasty plot, and roughly half the time I don't see him do anything, which means he might not even have consistent prankster. I have to double check the trainer data. But either way, you don't want to take a chance in acrobatics the Morgrim, because the hat trim is, uh, doesn't die to x -Scissor. Alright, so this base is really, really slow. The mons in here are just not great for my team in general. Oh damn, Growlithe's already dead, what the hell? It'd be great when they properly data mine these, this area. Because you can know what level everything is, but it... It's presumed that everything is a higher they they're higher level here. Uh I don't know where to go. Yeah, this is fine. Be rejuvenated, my friends. This will finish everything off. Quacks well. Quacks well. Why can't you kill this last Pokemon? What is happening? They just decide to do their own thing. All things considered, that wasn't terrible. <laughs> but it was it's really brutal. Okay, so this fight is interesting. Uh, if it's raining, the Azumarill likes to go for Aqua Tail. I think he actually has the AI to do that. And um, he'll otherwise go for Bounce, um, which is a little bit better, but if you get paralyzed, it's pretty bad. Um, he also likes to go for Charm. Every time I use a guard spec, turn one, he goes for bounce. If I don't use the guard spec, turn one, he goes for charm. I think the AI cheats. So I'm just going to go for guard spec. He probably won't go for charm. He'll probably just go for bounce.
Oh, wow. Thanks, buddy. Okay, now for some reason, charm again? Okay, I'm going to sword stance again. Normally, I just set up to plus two, but because I can't do anything anyway, I'm just going to sword stance again. Miss. Unlucky. Don't do it. That's un very unlucky. Okay, so I'm going to full restore and then set up my last... Uh, do my last setup turn here. Yes. No. Okay, that's fine. I can win from here. So I don't need to set up anymore. Not the best fight, but could have been worse. Why does Cute Charm proc when the Wigglytuff dies? That's so pointless. What am I in love with now? My love is now dead. This is something they changed in this game, which doesn't make any sense. I'm very surprised. You'd think the newer gen games would be better programmed. In terms of AI. Or in terms of just how moves work or abilities work. Alright, that's a win. Gonna probably uh, only save a tiny bit of time, if anything. Okay, lost a second. <laughs> it's okay, though. That's a tough split. Also, that Star Mobile can be arranged with low attack. Luckily, my attack's good enough. Okay, one base left. And this next base is almost as laggy as the fairy base. <laughs> I do like the Starfall Street story, but having to go through it in the run is a little annoying because there's a lot of t a lot of dialogue. I 
Well, I, I, I realized I'm like mashing through all these text boxes. I wonder if saying no on any of these sections is better. I have to, I have to check that. Okay, so Poison Base is a bit laggy. The Pokemon in the base are a little high level, so slightly higher level, so my Quaxwell and Growlithe are going to not have the easiest time, but it's better than the Fairy Base and better than the Fighting Base. So if I can get this barrage done in 90 seconds or less, that'd be fantastic. Okay, Southeast. I'm also wondering whether it's worth it to hop into the into this area on your way by, activate this cutscene, and then and then leave, and then just come back in later. Probably isn't. Does it make a difference? Hey Alex, thanks for good luck. Hope you're doing well. Ah, the leg! Please! That move selection box was awful. Took a nap. Always good to get, take a nap. I'm not much of a nap person myself. Sometimes I just get really exhausted in the afternoon and I just lie down and fall asleep watching YouTube. <laughs> happens when you get older, I guess. Working 14, I assume 14 hour days. That's pretty brutal. So yeah, naps are pretty key in that in that in that case, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I don't like these. I don't want Quaxwell to take on those things. Why do I get double Swalot? These are definitely random. Please kill Pokemon. Thank you. Why do I keep? These are like the worst mons. I want to see like... I don't want to see ground types. Uh, I don't know if there's anything over there. Hello, fuck! Kill the mons, please! Kill the mons! That would be fantastic. Where are my vending machines? Yeah, 
Yeah, I have to find a vending machine ASAP. Okay. This is like the worst base to like try to navigate. I just have a, such a hard time doing it. Man, I'm only getting Swalot and Gulpin. This is crazy. It's like the worst thing to deal with, I think. I need something else. Where are the Pokemon? Where are... <laughs> and of course I finished with these two fuckers as well. Okay, that was, that was terrible. <laughs> That's one base I want to practice. If it even is possible to practice that base. I might lose time on the split because of that. That wasn't very good. Also, I really love getting black screen while the music just plays. Can you please load the fight? Please, can you please load that fight? It's very inconsistent too. It's not like it does that every time. I find if I'm mashing, maybe this is just anecdotal, but if, I always find that if I'm just mashing aimlessly, it takes longer. <laughs> it's like being delayed by the inputs. And it's particularly bad on this base. Like, even the fairy base is better, I'd say. Okay, so set up on the um, muck, because the muck is least likely to do anything dumb. Yeah, the fairy base definitely lags the most, but for some reason the loads in this base are the worst. But yeah, you set up on the um, the muck because the scun tank has toxic, and the this revivorum has sludge, and both of those moves are more likely to poison you than sludge wave. Sludge wave is only ten percent. All right. See ya. I also don't like how that ability procs after I defeat it, and it's the end of the fight. It seems it seems kind of pointless. All right, let's blame this time loss on lag because that makes the most sense. Because it's Scarlet and Violet after all. Okay, so as you can see on Clavel. There is 1 minute and 13 seconds of possible time save. I don't think I, that's entirely all obtainable with Scyther. Because I these splits also include um, when I was tr using other mains. And I think Scyther has a slightly slower fight than... Flamigo for sure. Flamigo is a bit faster.
But yeah, this fight's really this fight's really bad. This clavel fight is probably the main reason why I think at the end of the when everything's optimized that a special attacking Pokemon is going to be the strat because. Um, there's a lot, in general this run, there's a lot of Pokemon with Intimidate, with Baby Doll Eyes, and, uh, Clavel's Oranguru has Reflect and Foul, and foul Play. <laughs> so, it makes setting up on it kind of awful. Whereas if you're a special attacker, you don't have to worry about any of that stuff. There was a special, there was a, I was looking into a, a special attacking Mon... Uh, today, but it kind of has a hard time with Ortega. And it's also not available at night, so because it was nighttime, I decided to run Scyther. Because <laughs> Scyther appears day and nighttime. All right, super leggy fly menu here. Oh, come on. And you fly to the academy before doing this menu because it's very laggy if you do it in the poison base. Luckily, it doesn't really matter in terms of time save other than the lag. So yeah, with the foul play situation, um, you set up X defense to sort of make up for the attack boosts that you're getting from Swords Dance. The problem is if you're a defense and your attack is high compared to your defense, you could actually still get two shot by foul play. So if you have very good attack and bad defense, you have to set up another X defend. <laughs> it's pretty slow. Luckily with this Scyther, I have very good attack and defense, so I do not need to worry. So I will be setting up a guard spec as well, because he has a Gyarados with Intimidate. Rather than having to set up a bunch of extra items. Sex defense to start. Oh yeah, echoed voice be pretty good. Okay, so yawn is kind of expected. Agility. Okay, so he's gonna go for Dream Eater now, so I'm gonna use a full heal. see what he does here. Dream Eater, good. Okay, so I need him to uh, Swords Dance. So if he foul plays here, oh, I still have to use a guard spec, so this is kind of brutal. Okay, Reflect is very bad. <laughs> now I'm just now I'm just stalling turns, which is fantastic. Um, we'll do this. I'll use that now. So that's turn one reflect. This is turn two. It's turn Okay, so Sword Stance here. He can't kill me with Foul Play from here. Okay, so he's going to try to kill me now. So I go with the Full Restore. And the, the Guard Spec is kind of up for no for nothing now. Because of uh, I got the ex extra Sword Stance up. So 
but I have to I have to stall somehow. Okay, so now I can just kill. Nope, do not want to terrestrialize, please. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna get hit by the Intimidate now. That's gonna be a little bit slower. Yeah, so the big problem with this route is you kinda need to start with either the cat or the duck. And because of that, and you need them specifically to be cloth. The, re the pro big problem with that, though, is that you Clavel has Gyarados, and Gyarados has Intimidate. But unfortunately, starting with Fuecoco, you can't really beat Cloth. <laughs> you technically can. You have to go get, like, the Seed Bomb TM or something, and use Fuecoco, and then hope you don't die to, like, Rock Tomb or something. But ideally, he just reflects right away. But I got a really late reflect, so I had to stall a ton. Ah, Tropius. No, not the banana dinosaur. I nearly ran into a Tropius today. <clears throat> Swords Dance and Dragon Dance, I'm guessing. But overall, this was a pretty good fight, because I'm saving a decent amount of time, so... <laughs> Despite that looking terrible, that was actually pretty decent. <laughs> a 200 catch rate, that's actually really good. That's like better than Growlithe, which is really strange. It's better than Scyther. Scyther's like 45. Okay. Saved a bit of time. Okay, so Penny is a very consistent fight. Because, uh... The big problem with Tropius, though, is you can't catch it at level 20 or lower. And because... Oh yeah, yeah, sorry, I meant Cassiopeia. My bad. Spoiler alert. The, um... Because you don't get any gym badges, you ha the only Pokémon you can use in this run are level 20 or under. Which is kind of a problem for the bases, because... Ideally, you just catch something really high level to deal with the bases, but you can't do that. Because they don't let you in the bases with uh, higher level Mon. Yeah, let's see if we get the creepy, creepy Quaxwell. Quaxwell. Creepy Quaxwell. Try saying that ten times fast. Creepy Quaxwell. Creepy Quaxwell. Creepy Quaxwell. It's actually not that hard. <laughs> But sometimes you get, like, a random, like, Pokemon just sitting behind Pe uh, Penny here. It's quite amusing. Alright. I run this category specifically for this, for this fight, because I love the music. It's so good. Alright, I need you to baby doll eyes, please, my dear. Thank you.
Oh, <laughs> this track is quite good. That did 49 damage, so I could definitely set up. All right, so I have to heal here because Flareon's quick attack does kill. Didn't get baby doll eyes. I think it would have been fine, but I might have actually had to X scissor. That would actually be really bad if it baby doll eyes there, because I think it's a range. A plus three. Acrobatics U. Do 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 do. Okay, so it is technically. I'm just gonna acrobatics the Jolteon. It will die. I just don't want to switch deck scissor. <laughs> I'll just spam acro. Alright, so the Leafeon, I've never seen it not quick attack. Because I think it just doesn't have anything else it wants to go for here. Because grass type moves clearly are bad against Scyther. Oh, I just noticed her Sylveon is female. I don't know if actually all of her evolutions are fixed gender or not, but I just realized the Sylveon is female. I th her, her, um, her other ones are, I think were male. Or it might be a random gender, who knows. So that's a nice, like, what, 1 in 8 chance? All right, cool. That's a one forty. There is a five minute cutscene I have to mash through before the end, though. <laughs> Because we voted on when the star or the uh, the Starfall Street or whatever the single story is, the card fades away as the end of time. Which makes sense, even though this cutscene is stupidly long. I think it's even worse for Victory Road. I know for um, for our, uh, Path of Legends, it's very fast after you beat Arvin, so it's really not that big of a deal. But yeah, definitely a nice uh, nice improvement on this time. I'm pretty happy with this. The only thing I don't like about this route is how bad the Clavel fight is because of Reflect and Foul Play. And if there was some way to use like special attacks on Scyther, I would 100% do that, but Scyther doesn't really get anything good. I guess I could check if like plus 6 air slash kills or something. I should actually check that. Maybe that actually would help. But you'd have to go shopping for X special attacks. That'd be the biggest problem. And shopping kind of sucks. 
It's only really worth it if you can kill it plus six, I think. But Scyther's special attack is horrible. What other, um... What other moves can it learn? But yeah, comparing, like, Scyther to, say, um, the other route that Spider C is doing, which is with Wigglytuff, that, that route makes up a lot of time on the Clavel fight. <laughs> makes up a couple minutes. Yeah, of all the Pokemon you think expect to see in a speedrun it's wiggly tough but it's uh, it's pretty good it's really um easily accessible it's the it's the terra water one before cloth and then you also um get a moonstone immediately after um the one disadvantage of it is it needs a lot of rare, a lot of candies so Um, I don't think it gets Echoed Voice. It gets, um, it gets Psy Shock and, uh, Moonblast, I think. Maybe even, I think, or Dazzling Gleam, one of the two. Oh, it gets, um, Hyper Voice as well. Yeah, so it does get Echo Voice, but in the in the in that route, it does not learn it in the route. Uh, entrance all. Do 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 Alright, still have a bit of time saved to get the sub 140 in this. Uh, my early game was pretty bad. <laughs> Had some pretty bad menus. I picked up more candies than I needed actually as well, so I could definitely save a bit of time there. And also because the tutorial Lechonk is now allowed, I will probably not catch a Growlithe as my third. So I can save a tiny bit of time there as well. It was a bit of an early split, but 140-47. Yeah, pretty decent mon. It definitely has a lot of um, definitely has a lot of uh, setup to get to um, the point where it can actually be used. But once it gets going, it's really really fast. <laughs> 